since I keep forgetting to tell you guys the name of some enemies, these are Grindles, and these are Spindles. That being said, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Time to continue our star collection with Whirl from the Freezing Pond. And with this one, I'm also going to go through a couple other enemy names here. If I can find one of them here, um, is it? There you are. This is Money Bags. If you kill it, it... I said if you kill it, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult to kill it sometimes. <laughs> There we go, you get a bunch of coins from it. And over here are spin drifts. These guys, you know, the flower enemies, you jump on them, they make you fly up in the air like so. Um, oh, I forgot to activate this cannon, that would be nice. And did I ever read this sign? I don't think I ever read this sign either. Uh, no, wait, I did read that sign, dang it! <laughs> Just another uh, copy pasta of signs. Uh, these are Mr. Blizzards and... Uh, uh, I guess maybe they weren't exactly hinting at just the Mr. Eyes, because if you run around uh, Mr. Blizzards here like that, they will also die and spit out three coins just like that. So two enemies are uh, weak to um, war are running around like that. Like I, for some reason, I for some reason could not speak. <laughs> anyway, whoops. Uh, I'm trying to think of what this one is exactly. Well, it says World from the Freezing Pond. Maybe, maybe this one is the one where you use the spin drifts to get across the other side. This might be what it is. What you, do, what you're supposed to do here is uh, use them to get all the way across to that other side, and hopefully. I'm picking the right star here. <laughs> Woo! And there you go. I think that's correct. Um, this is also how you get all the uh, red coins as well, because there's more red coins down the right side. Uh, that's the wrong box. Uh, I forgot how to get off the shell, but I guess it doesn't really matter, because the star is in this. It actually does matter, really. <laughs> oh, you press the Z button, okay. And there's the star. I hope that's the correct one. <laughs> Let's see... Yes, it was! Sweet! Alrighty, so... Now we gotta go back in and see what the next one is. Shell shredding for red coins. Okay, I just described this one. So I know exactly how to do it. Well, sort of. Um, actually, I don't remember exactly where the red coins are, but I do know the most important ones to get are the ones that you can't really go back to get once you kill all the um, spin drifts in the water, and that's not really something you want to mess with, so I should probably go get those first. Um, no, 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 get, no, don't you dare knock me into for freezing, <laughs> freezing pond, let me out. Ah, all right, one more time. Woo! Just gotta do that jump with some momentum, you'll be able to get it. <clears throat> to get it. So, now let's get the shell, and get on. Let's ride carefully, and there we go. Just jump whenever you want to slow down and pull back whenever, just just to make sure that you'll get them. And, oh jeez, do not make me lose my shell, because the shell is it's pretty important in this one. And, and five, the reason why is because of this. There's coins in this freezing pond, and as I said, the uh, freezing pond acts like lava in pretty much every single way, so that's why you need the shell for that, because once you're underneath it, you'll... Ah, shoot! Hopefully I didn't need that shell anymore. Oh, wait, I see the last red coin. <laughs> I should have just continued along that path. should always follow the trail of coins. The money never lies. Okay, maybe not. And there we go. I actually could use the shell the whole way there, but I forgot where that last coin was, so... Yeah, well. It's all working out in the end. And there's the star. Here we go! Love that camera zoom out. It's so dynamic and nice. Alright, let's go in. I think this is where we enter the igloo. Into the igloo, yes. Because it's the last star, and that's the... The last one that I know has... I mean, there's only one that has the igloo. Uh, you might have noticed that there is a slope over here um, at the freezing pond area. 
maybe you noticed. Now, over here... See these coins? Yeah, that's that's where it is. It's up there, and I forgot exactly how to get that. Maybe I'm supposed to use the shell, but hmm, let me give me like a little upward view. Well, I can jump at it from the other side. That that'll be, that would be fine. So I'll just take this route again. Now, why do I suck so hard at these moving snow drifts of sorts? I don't know. <laughs> um, no, maybe I can't get. Hit it that easily. Um, hmm. Was, am I like supposed to crawl up that slope? Because that is a possibility too. Maybe I'm supposed to long jump up the slope. I forgot how to get up the slope. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> uh, I'll try the spin drift. Like just do that and go up. No, nope. oh. poopers. This is clearly not the intended method. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna. Try the shell one more time. Ah, I keep messing up my long jump curses. Boop. So, can I ride the shell in the water? That is the question. I don't remember if I can, but we are about to find out. Yes, and that might be the solution. Great. <laughs> well, you know what I'm gonna do? Suicide in the water. I haven't showed Mario's, uh, Drowning death yet have I? I've been doing so well to this point and I lost the shell, so Yeah. <laughs> That's kinda gruesome actually. Alright, back in there we go. <laughs> Sometimes embarrassing when you forget what to do, but now that I remember uh, that about the shell going across the water, that's likely the intended solution that I'm looking for. Woo! Shortcuts! Well, it wasn't much of a shortcut because you just walk across that ice either way, but still. Uh, so easy to get across that pond once you get that first jump. Alright, shell on. Igloo in. Well, hopefully. I'm gonna do this carefully this time. Not too much of an angle. There we go. No, you don't. Alright, to get inside this igloo, you actually have to crawl in by pressing the Z button and moving the control stick. So the crawl actually does have a use in this game. And there's the star we're looking for. In order to get that star, we are going to have to work our way over to the vanish cap in this room. And it's in that corner. Once you get the vanish cap, you'll, you'll just be able to run right to the ice walls. I think I'm on the right track to it. It's kind of like a maze. Ah, camera. <laughs> and then you go over this wall, grab the vanish cap, and camera. Run like mad. Go, 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 go. It's freaking. <laughs> and there you go. There's the star. Lovely. Alright. I think I'm gonna have enough time to do the uh, 100 coin star in this one. Uh, there's a lot of uh, coins in the igloo as you've seen, but first I'm gonna collect the stuff outside the igloo of course. So as per tradition I'm gonna grab the, I mean I'm gonna select the red coin star one and I should really activate that cannon for the sake of uh, activating everything in this level. I've been kind of lazy about doing that. Come on money bags, just die so I can grab your pocket change. Thank you. And yeah, the, the red bob bomb um, is just on the lower path. It's not really hard to find, but you'll see once I get to the spots where it is. It's not important other than if you want to use shortcuts, obviously, because I got all the stars without it up to this point. And... Wait, did I miss? Or did that coin just fly that far away? I don't know, wait, what the heck? Why am I missing so many coins? Well, whatever. <laughs> It's all working out after all, it's, I got them all before they disappeared anyway. Alright, I'm failing at my long jump, I really got to time myself better. Slipperiness! Eh. Mr. Blizzard, give me your pocket change. No! I want Mr. Blizzard's change. Eh. I will get it out of you one way or the other. Get, stop, fall. Over to stop throwing snowballs, lock on to me. Get topsy turvy, come on now. You, this is not that difficult for you to do. <laughs> the 
there we go. I don't know what the heck was going on there, it just wasn't reacting like it usually does, but whatever. Um, is there anything special up here? Oh, maybe I should actually go and get the, um, the shell for the red coins first, actually. Because, uh, as I said before, once you kill the two um, spin drifts above, I mean, in front of that uh, ledge, you can't really get over to the other side. And if I do, if I fail at that, well, that's gonna be kind of an issue. <laughs> well, maybe not. I mean, there are four uh, red coins up there, which is for a total of eight, but there's plenty of other coins throughout the level to take advantage of, so. Maybe not, after all. But I should probably get them just to be safe. Anyway, I'm just gonna go uh, around the perimeter first and just kind of work my way to the inside, I suppose. I think that's a good idea of, of approach. Ah! And uh, you. You, got, you have a lot of coins. I, I prefer you dead more than anything so I can get your coin. Dang it! What in the lava? Well, no <laughs> water lava, I mean. The reskin lava. I got another Mr. Blizzard here who's gonna give me trouble. Come on, topple over. There we go. Why, why did the first one give me so many issues? Was it because I was trying to do that on a slope or something? I don't know. Now, did I get your coins? No, I didn't. Now I will. Bloop. Bloop. And bloop. Maybe I'll grab that one up just because. There we go. I gotta get all the coins I can for the capitalism of Mario. We'll make stars appear, even at the expense of potentially innocent lives. <laughs> uh, okay, I just I'm not I don't really want to get those coins in the water because obvious reasons because there's more coins to be had up here at the moment. And if I go in there to get the coins from killing the spin drift, I'm not going to be able to get back up here without using the other one. That's kind of risky. Go. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can I get coins out of you? Yes, I can. I could skillfully use the shell sometimes, I guess. All right, and six. Get the last two red coins under the pond. There we go. Don't want that star, obviously. I'm just gonna get myself out of here. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought I was gonna get uh, trapped underneath there, like, by hitting one of those little ice spires popping out of the uh, water. Okay, 62 coins. Um, oh, I didn't activate that, um, that cannon yet, did I? Where was that red bomb? I forgot. Maybe it was inside the igloo, and I'm not. And I thought it was on the ground level, but it wasn't. But it might actually be in the igloo. Did I kill you before? I don't think I killed you before. See, it was just that one snowman that was giving me issues. Well, Mr. Blizzard, but you know, there's 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 snowmen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh no. Because I killed the snowman. I mean, I didn't. I used the shell already. Oh shoot! I'm gonna have to find a different way into shoot the igloo. <sighs> if that's even possible, it probably is possible, knowing the way Mario 64 is and the way that you can work around stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna just focus on collecting these coins first. And work on jumping down onto where the igloo is from above. Yeah, 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 you, to you told me about this before. So, big penguin. Well, one of these big penguins. Come back here. I don't know exactly what your name is. Your names are rather generic as far as I could tell. Just big penguin, mama penguin, and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can definitely jump down to the igloo area from up here. Okay. So this is relatively safe to do so, if I get the camera right, there we go. I wonder if it's worth getting the coins on this slope and then going around again. Well, I'll see how many coins are inside the igloo first, because I can exit... Eh, 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 eh. I can exit the igloo um, anytime I want to, just by going back through there. 
it like so. So it's no big deal if I um, if I have to come back outside for the uh, remaining coins. So yeah, I'm just going to collect what I can in here and find where I think is the uh, uh, red babam that has the that will activate the cannon of this world. Probably should have did that when I was in here before. But anyway, yeah, there it is in the corner. Dang it, how could I have forgotten that? Arg! I be a pirate. And no, I can't jump over that wall. Do I have to go through the wall or can I actually go over it? I think this is one I actually have to go through. Now, mm, that's not ideal in all honesty. <laughs> Because if I get trapped in there... Yeah, unless I'm able to go back through the walls. I don't remember if I'm able to do that or not. I'm probably able to, because that would be a little unfair if they didn't let you do that. But anyway, I need the cap to um, get these coins anyway, so let's just start by missing the one-up somehow. <laughs> and, oh wow, well, it's got that with flying colors. Very easy. Alright, let's run over to Red Obam, or Pink Obam, excuse me. Hey, hey, talky? Talky? Can I talk to you while... I'm just gonna try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why I'm trying it is for the sake of experimentation. Um... Because hopefully I'm able to get out of here. I'm betting that I, I, that I just missed something. Hopefully, otherwise I'm gonna have to redo the 100 coin star, unfortunately. But I don't think they would be that mean, would they? Because that seems a little improbable. Hold on a sec. Because this wall looks a little small. No? Do they seriously trap you in here... ...just for the sake of being able to activate the cannon? So I find that hard to believe, in all honesty. Yeah, I think they actually do that. Wow. That's... That's kind of cruel. <laughs> Maybe I should have grabbed that 100 coin star first before coming in here, because I wouldn't have ended the, uh... Level! Arr! So I guess you could count this as the first major disaster of this, because I gotta do this, but yeah! There's the activated cannon, by the way. I might actually be able to use this to uh, fly all the way to the shell, come to think of it. Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, that does seem to be a possibility, so maybe that's a way to shortcut your way through there if you uh, use up all of the um, spin drifts. Maybe. Anyway, gotta collect coins. I think this is a better method to get the coins from them just by ground pounding them rather than jumping on them normally because you fly too far and it takes a while, you get disoriented, and yeah. <laughs> Alright, rematch in the igloo here. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Ah, I can't believe I did that. It just burned so much time for. I just should have collected the star first, but I don't know why I didn't. I was just being stupid. <sighs> <sighs> Still very, very disappointed in that move on my part, but at least I activated the cannon. <laughs> I guess. That's completely useless to me. <sighs> well, there's the uh, last 20 coins inside there, so let's grab the Vanish Cap, get the 100 coin star, and get out of here. There. Needless to say, my enthusiasm is completely shot. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off... Wait, actually, I just wanna make sure here. I'm gonna end off the course here. And the part, so I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next part. <sighs>